But this particular tool, with the Z with the arrow pointing down, is what we use to define the depth of our screen. Notice that's going to ask us to select a view first. So with the left mouse button, we'll touch the top view. And when you do, I want you to look at the isometric, and I want you to look at the other views. A dashed line will come in. So let's move over to the top view, and we're going to touch the left mouse button. Slide your cursor down to where you'd like to have it, as an example, halfway through this slab. Tap it one time, and we've now defined that area. If we try drawing a circle with the left mouse button, touch the center point and drag your cursor across, touch uh, the second uh, data point with the left mouse button to draw the circle, and you notice that we're actually drawing this halfway down the inside the actual slab. So this, this command is basically used whenever we wanted to define a depth for our cursor. Again, we touch the, the top view and data point where we want to begin. So that's, let's define this area to be just slightly above the first circle. Go back to the circle command and note that when we draw the next circle, MicroStation will automatically then adjust. Now the point here with this particular tool is that you only use this for defining a data point. Now we're going to change the color and we're going to snap to the center of the circle and I want you to see how the circle begins to come in tilted. Now with the axis turned on it's going to allow me to line up with the last point and then I can go ahead and just data point one more time. The idea here again is that we can always control wherever MicroStation is going to accept a data point using this particular tool. And one more time, you select the view you want to change, and then you define, using a different view, you define exactly where your cursor ought to be. Again, as this example, we snap with the tentative point on the edge, draw a circle in the right view, and notice that it's coming lined up with the actual edge that we had snapped to. This is known as activating our depth.